whenever I get bored, I entertain myself with science. One of the things that I really enjoy is creating new iterations of the electrical arc drawing tables that I invented and that I have for sale on Etsy.com. Now this one is a lot nicer than the other portable table because of the material changes. And I always come in and work on the power source when it needs to be cooled off because they will get warm whenever you're using them for a very long time and a lot of people will buy a plasma ball or something like that and if they complain that it's gone out and it's really just gotten hot you can't really use them for that long unless you're someone like me and you want to modify it so I even put a fan on the Tesla coil itself first thing I do is take something like this apart change the capacitors in there match them up uh, to the flyback a little bit better so that I can have more power and I take the uh, MOSFET out of there, uh, change the MOSFET to a better brand with a heat sink, and uh, do the cooling as well. So I'll tinker with the circuit boards when I get it, just because I want the product to be reliable. I want it to work uh, for someone who pays the money. I want this thing to be uh, well worth it. So I made some changes and there's no longer just this straight up wooden frame that they used to have. I used to have a really uh, grainy looking and I went to uh, MDF. It's a, got a sheen on it, nice chamfer. I put a different handle, it had like a twisted handle on the other one. I went with one that's chamfered and matches the MDF. I uh, worked on the power input to make it look more factory. It does have ventilation. So that's exactly what this is for to try to keep it running cool. And plug it in. It looks awesome. Now this is upsetting that you can't really see it with the aluminum plate in there. But this is the part that does all the work. Yeah, this guy right here is what charges up the surface, capacitively coupling to it and allowing you to zap the paper. So one thing I did like about this groove here, and I picked this out just for that reason, is because this is going to be covered, but you will be able to see the light coming through. And you can look inside to see the power source. So as I said, uh, as time goes on, I'll have some metal frames and some other things. But this is just an update. I'm really tired, guys. I apologize, but this is where we're headed.